Alright YouTube, Frank Lubeck here, Lubeck Enterprises. I just filmed the video upstairs and of course my phone ended up conking out. So basically, we are here once again with this all-in-one PC. It's an HP TouchSmart 320 PC. And basically today, right now, what I'm going to do is upgrade the RAM. Currently, I did install Windows 10 on the hard drive that I installed in one of the last videos. And uh, basically right now, there are 6 gigabytes of RAM installed. There are two memory slots. One is a 4 gig, one is a 2 gig. I'm going to take the 2 gig out and make it 4 gig. That way, basically, I max out the RAM. The hard drive is good, 1 terabyte. I mean, for something like this, as awesome as this PC is, I'm not going to use it as often. It's not going to be my daily driver, basically. So there's no reason that I would use up one terabyte of space in, you know, two, three years, maybe. So what I'm going to do right now is to start off by taking these two screws out. If you've seen the last video, you'll know exactly. It's not the lightest thing. It's not as light as a laptop, that's for sure. Oh, and there's a screw bouncing around. It's going to be great. So we use a Phillips screwdriver. Take these two out. It gets to a certain point where it's a little hard to take off. So you get a a flathead screwdriver. Straight slot, flathead, whatever you want to call it. Apply pressure upwards. That one's off. There. You can put the flathead away, keep the Phillips on hand. Oh, well this side is not out all the way. So the reason it's not coming out, and I've mentioned this in a previous video, is if you're working on a PC like this, make sure you take all USB devices out. See? About to ruin my computer. And <laughs> once you do that, it just pulls off. Right here is the RAM slot. So you got this here. Uh, one of the previous videos I had called this the hard drive. It's not. It's the DVD drive. Hard drive is right here, held in place by electrical tape because it is way smaller than the original. This here, see there's an arrow pointing down. This is for the RAM. So you go ahead, just like that. You don't have to really pull, it's more of a pulling motion on this. So, as you can see here, we have a 2 gigabyte stick is the one on top, the blue one. The green one is a 4 gigabyte stick. We want to replace the blue with a 4 gig. So, this here, Amazon, you know, maybe like, I think I paid like 15 bucks for it or something. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same type as the other 4 gig that's in there. It's not the exact same, but it is very, very similar. So, let me go ahead and open this. Now, I am not wearing static straps for this. Uh, I find RAM is one of the things in computers where people freak out about thinking it's going to be detrimental that you have to take some sort of safety precautions, but I mean, especially if you've been working on computers a long time, how often have you seen RAM go bad? Yeah. So, don't need static strips. I'm just going to go ahead and get this package opened. And there it is. Give it a second to focus. So, I'm going to take this here. So with RAM, on almost every desktop 
laptop, everything is just held together by these two clips. But since this one here is deeper into the computer than the stick that I don't want to replace is, I'm still going to have to go ahead and pull these tabs to the side. There we go. Do the same with this one then. Make it more accessible if you do this one first. Otherwise, it may not come up all the way. You may not be able to get it out. It's a pain in the butt. Take the new one and just quite simply stick it back in. There's only really one way it can go in. But you want to, you don't want to put it in flat like that. You want to put it in on kind of an angle and then push it back until the clips go ahead and make a clicking sound like this. Like that. Take this cover, protective cover, put the arrow pointing downwards. Put the bottom in first, push it down on top. Then, literally, all you do is take this, you gotta put it on the right way, and once, oh, there we go. Then once again, to mention this again, as long as you're, as long as it's lined up the right way, you're not going to break anything by simply pushing down with tons of force like that. Simply retighten these two screws. And that's it. Now I'm not going to go ahead and try to refilm everything upstairs, but just to verify this here, when I turn it on, it should have 8 gigabytes of RAM, not 6.